Hello, in this session, we'll see corollary 2 of Euler's theorem. We'll see the formula and its proof. So, in this corollary 2, let's say we have a function u in x and y with degree n. But u is or u may not be a homogeneous function. So, in that case, if there is another function, let's say z, which is function of u and this is homogeneous of degree n, then we can say that x times of du over dx plus y times of du over dy will be equal to n times of f of u by f dash of u. So, this is the second corollary of Euler's theorem. Now, we will see the proof on this. As we said that z is a function of u which is homogeneous. So, in that case, it should satisfy the Euler's theorem. And therefore, we will have x dz over dx plus y dz over dy equal to n times of z. So, writing in terms of f, we will have x d of fu over dx plus y dfu over dy equal to n times of f of u. Now, we can apply chain rule here and we can find the differentiation as d f of u by du times of du by dx plus y times of d f of u over du times of du over dy equal to n times of f of u equal to n times of f of u. So, this becomes x times of f dash of u du over dx plus y times of f dash of u du over dy equal to n times of f of u. So, we can take this f dash of u common and write it as f dash of u times of x du over dx plus y du over dy equal to n times of f of u. Taking this f dash u on the right side, we will have x du over dx plus y times of du over dy equal to n times of f of u by f dash of u. And this is the corollary 2 of Euler's theorem, which we have proved here. So, this is verified now. Thank you.